Okay. Hello, Jessica, and hello, everyone who is joining us on the live stream. We have a very, very special guest today. Hey, Magda. How's it going, it's, little, it's good, Magda, but you're the main character of this live stream now. I, I have been watching these live streams for the past couple of weeks and I'm excited to be a guest on on your show on this show and talk to the audience. I'm so happy to hear that everyone. Hello uh, Cesar, Norsh, Good Day Mae, John, um, Tarek. I'm doing amazing. How are you all doing? Please let us know where you're joining us from. Um, please say hello to Jessica. You know she is joining us today as a special guest and happy new year. I hope everyone had a great holidays and a great start to their new year. I know it's been a few weeks but we're ready to get back into the swing of things and we're ready to talk business. So you know um, I hope you're all very excited but I would so appreciate if you could just let us know where you are joining us from and yeah just to say hello. Awesome and as you can probably see from the title today as per usual we have something very special for you all which is five trending products five winning products that i've gone into the overload data and i've went ahead and actually picked out to share with you today uh, now these products jessica does not really know so jessica and yourselves will be <laughs> guessing the products um and if you can see hi philippe from texas Shaharia, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry, from Pakistan. Hello, nice to see you. Um, so we'll be guessing some winning products. We'll be talking about Shanty Talk, taking over TikTok, Valentine's Day, men's grooming, and a few other things. So I am so excited to jump in with it with you all today. Before we get started, I just have a few, a little request. Please. If you want to see more winning products, please don't forget to hit the like button. That helps the YouTube algorithm let lets YouTube know that you like these types of videos and you want to see more winning products. I would really appreciate it. And just so you all know, uh, before we jump into everything, that these live streams are always saved. The entire live stream is always saved and put on our channel afterwards. So if you miss something, if you go get a coffee and you think you've missed a winning product, <laughs> it's going to be on our uh, video. It's going to be on our YouTube homepage afterwards, as well as all the winning products will be linked down below after the video. So I'm so excited to jump in. And one, one last thing that I want to say a little bit of housekeeping. I'm sorry, everyone. I know I'm talking a lot is that please, as we're going through the winning products, drop your questions, Jessica and I, and also Katana is in the chat, ready to answer your questions. So if you see a product and you're like, what price should I sell that for? Go ahead and type that into the chat. We are watching the chat, reading along, and we will be answering your questions. And most of the time we answer almost all the questions. So, uh, you know, I, I just want to say that we're pretty good at it and we kind of structure our answers around that. So uh, please do drop them into the chat. Jessica, yeah. is there anything I missed or anything you'd like to add? <laughs> There's nothing I want to add, but it, since this is the first uh, chat and, and the first live that we're doing since it, the new year, I just would love to know if anyone's here has like a new year's resolution related to their business. If this new year is kind of a new start for them, if you could just like share that, that would be really cool, just anecdotally. But other than that, Magda, I'm, I have no idea what you're going to talk about. And you said Shanty Talk, <laughs> Valentine's Day, and men's grooming, and two out of three of those I <laughs> are, are outside of my world. So I can't wait to learn from you today. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited, Jessica. And also, I would love to know if anyone has follow, is following through on their New Year's resolution, or if they've given up. Because as we all know, the... the <laughs> <laughs> success is paved with failure so if you failed it's okay just you know I would love to hear own up to it and um you know let's let's just get going and and before we just jump into things I just see Good Day Mate John is asking about the UK VAT debacle I will say Good Day Mate John I actually don't have that much information about it right now but I'll note it down in my notebook so that I can look into this for you afterward. Uh, Shopify does have a function where you can add in VAT taxes automatically. So it should not be an issue um, because it's actually programmed into the admin. If you look up VAT in the Shopify help center, you should find that, but I'll look into you for the future. And with that, 
let's jump into things. Okay, let's jump into the first winning product, Jessica. Now, this winning okay. product, it used to be really popular a few years ago, um, and but now it's something that I think a lot of teens seem to gravitate towards. It's something more in the spirituality niche. It's something that you see in a lot of backgrounds of YouTube videos. So if somebody is filming a YouTube mm. video, usually it's not only teens, sometimes it's like spiritual moms too, but they have it in the background <laughs> of their YouTube videos. Does anyone have any ideas? Yeah, I'm or curious just- if the chat has a guess because when you say, so the very first thing that came to my mind was something mandala related but then i don't know if there's a connection between that and teens and i have a second Mm -hmm. guess if it's not mandala really is it am i saying it right i'm saying like mandala like i don't know why i'm accenting (laughs) the first is it mandala (laughs) okay actually jessica you are you are close you are very very close it definitely does have something to do with a mandala i believe that's like what that's how you would describe it Tina, it's not crystals, but it's absolutely something that's the people who buy crystals would also purchase. So if you're thinking crystals, think crystals, think man, mandala, um, you're absolutely right on the money. Okay, Hater says backdrops. Good day, May John says boho decor stuff. It absolutely is a piece of decor. Um, okay. So let's see if anyone else in the chat gets it. Please just drop your drop your drop your suggestions. Okay, you know what? Jern Molina, the big mandala design backdrop puts it all together. That's what it is. So the first winner is a tapestry wall hanging. Now, the reason I chose these is because they've been around forever. We've actually talked about them in the past, but for some reason, when I was looking into the overload data to grab you all these winning products, these uh, tapestry wall hangings had a huge GMV spike since the start of January. So, you know, we've seen them before a few months ago. A lot of times people think, oh, if it's been popular before, it won't sell now. But these have seen a huge growth. And frankly, if you watch YouTube, if you watch TikTok, if you are watching streamers on Twitch, a lot of times you'll see these mandala tapestries in the background. So are you surprised to hear it, Jessica? You know, I, I'm not so surprised. Actually, this this product relates to a question that um, Dr. Kimberly Chowdhury, definitely want to give mm-hmm. you credit for that doctor title. It's awesome. Um, was asking because she said uh, she's just starting to build her store and she's worried about picking the best items for her boutique because she's scared about quality and sizing. And one thing that we tell to be very beginner drop shippers is look for products that you don't have to worry about size issues. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, like So a mandala is great because you're probably not going to be so worried about will this fit in my home? Like it's a wall tapestry. You can find a wall big enough to fit the mandala, right? And I think for for clothes, you can also think of accessories where sizing isn't an issue. Um, But I like this because it's so, it's such an easy product to buy. You're not going to whip out the measuring tape. So people will just be like, I want it. I need it for my TikTok background. Maybe is this your segue to talking about Shanty Talk, or do I have to wait a little bit longer to to learn more about that? Uh, Jessica, okay, it is. It's it's not my segue. It's not my segue to talk about Shanty Talk. Shanty, okay. shanty Talk okay. is coming up, but I didn't want to make it too obvious. <laughs> no, let's tease it a little bit. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, Felipe is asking, what would you sell the Mandela <laughs> tapestry for? Do you have thoughts on that? Yeah. So actually, um. I've seen a few successful dropshipping stores selling this product and usually they just sell the tapestry. However, I was looking a lot into trends coming up for this year and tarot cards, tarot reading, spirituality is a trend that they're projecting to really grow over this next year. So if you're wondering, okay, so you want to sell these mandala tapestries, how do you even approach someone to sell it to? I would probably suggest now this is going to seem niche, but this is actually a huge group of influencers is looking into TikTokers or people on Instagram who are tarot card readers. Um, the data on tarot card readers in those um, 
on, on both TikTok and Instagram has absolutely blown up. Um, this is something I was reading on trends.co. I don't know if anyone else is familiar with the website, but they always study new trends coming out for the new year. And these TikTokers, you know, this is a great way to not just to actually kind of make the product attach to another trend. Because a lot of times people just, they have a difficult time attaching a product to an actual trend or a theme or something like that. And this way, you can kind of cater it and test it towards, for example, audiences that are interested in tarot card readings, or, you know, then you can also try it with gamers or YouTubers, but try to hit different audience groups. So that's probably what I would um, suggest. And if you are all looking for um, tarot card readers, make sure to look up hashtags on both Instagram and TikTok. They're very easy to find because a lot of them are selling their services as a business. They want to sell their tarot card readings. So it's actually really easy to contact them. Mm. And you already know they are ready to talk business. That's a great tip. Oh, by the way, Rose's Pendulum says we're both well, I'll take the blame for my, I'll take responsibility. It's mandala. 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 Okay, thank you. And, and you say tapestry and I say tapestry. I, okay. we'll, we'll, let the, we'll let the chat tell me I'm wrong on that one as well. Tape, tap, tip. Anyway, yeah, I'm not tap. sure. Well, you got to say wrong. saying tapestry. You got to phonetically, is it tape estry or tap estry? phonetically spell it and, and I'll, I'll do whatever everyone tells me to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Cool. Me too. Um, All right. Now let's move on to our next product. Now this product, um, I will be honest, everyone. I, I it kind of, I don't want to say gross me out, but it kind of freaked me out because it's not something that it, it is. It's not a, a woman's product. I would say it, it's something to do with it's men's grooming, but it's absolutely exploded. And when I saw this product, I was shocked. I didn't really want to look at it, but frankly, the sales and the GMV growth was so high that I thought there is no way um, that I cannot share it with you all today. So it's something to do with men's grooming. So I would love your your guesses, Jessica. <laughs> you don't have to guess too much because I feel like there's not too much to guess for this one, but I think it would be more important to talk about the 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 selling aspects and the marketing aspects after but if if you do have a guest let me know otherwise we'll just we'll just drop it in because this one's a little bit more niche okay well one um one men's pro grooming product because I remember this was like a year ago Mandy and Aubrey uh two drop shippers that never spent a dime on advertising and they built a six-figure drop shipping store they one of the products that they recommended selling was this it was like a a bib that men wore and they attached to a mirror and while they were grooming their beards all the hair just dropped into the bib and they said this was great because they posted and they were to like mom not mom groups like wife groups or something and said hey does anyone have this problem with their man and all the women bought this men's grooming product because it was solving the women's problem they hated the hairs so I thought that was creative but I don't know if that is the product you have on your list so that's not the exact product, but I'll go ahead and ask Katana if you don't mind dropping into the chat, but it's close. I don't know. I, I, there, there's no judgment here, anyone, but it is a men's back groomer, um, like a men's back shaver. And it is a large, like it is just a large tool that I guess men can use to shave their back. Now, hey, I'm not, there's no judgment here. You know, if, if you want to do that, you know, every, everyone grooms differently, but this product has been absolutely just blowing up. And I can understand why, especially now with a lot of you know, salons closed and a lot of, you know, um, other places where you would normally go to get these services done. Now, instead of that, you can just, you know, get this um, back hair shaver. Now, one reason that I really wanted to put this, uh, this drop this product in here, everyone, is because this week we have a video coming out with Demantas, where Demantas is going to share um, a men's grooming product that he sold to make $50,000 in two months. And Within the video, one thing that he shares with me that it was so interesting is that way more women, similar to what you said, Jessica, way more women actually purchase this product than men. And he attributes it to wives purchasing it for their husbands or purchasing it as gifts. So if you wanted to, to sell this product, I would definitely suggest selling it to both men and women because I 
from everything that I've learned, I think we might be surprised that a lot of times more women would buy this because they would want men to use it. Now, yeah. I just thought it was an interesting product, but I've just been seeing it blow up. And I thought, <clears throat> I really think someone is going to make a lot of money with this product because it's a bit of an awkward topic, but it's a very real problem. And also, even if stores were open, I'm assuming that most of the time uh, this would be difficult to find, or you maybe would feel more comfortable purchasing this product online rather than in store. Yeah, I would also say, you know, if you're mm -hmm. if you're just starting out, I think this is a great product to add to your store, start practicing with Facebook ads, see mm -hmm. where your audience is, because people are going to really start buying this in April and May when the weather gets better and in places in the world where it's safe to go to a beach, they can go to a beach. So I love this product because start out now, don't expect a lot of skills, sales, but use it as a way to really build your own skills and build your store so that when the customers are really looking for something like this, your pixel will already know how to match the, the demand to the product and get you sales. Great, really interesting product, really good find. <laughs> yeah. It. Yeah, I didn't think that one would be as easy to guess, but I thought it was, it was just seeing such insane GMV growth that I thought, you know what, why not? Now, one thing that I wanted to answer is uh, Babuska asked, what is the best marketing tools to promote your dropshipping website? Now, when it comes to marketing, I think that this is really important just to touch on that marketing tools and platforms are just tools. If you just, if you see a hammer, but you don't use it, it's not going to do anything for you. It's not actually going to work for you until you pick it up and start using it as a tool. So when we talk about marketing tools, I think it's really important, everyone, that you remember that all these marketing platforms, such as TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, they're tools. And so to get them to work, you need to use them like a real tool. And they're all work for different things, just like real tools. So for example, a lot of times if you are selling, um, you know, uh, beauty products, a lot of a lot of drop shippers will go with, you know, influencers on Instagram. If you're selling products that are, you know, more gadgety or, you know, really grab attention, or for example, something like men's grooming, a lot of times Facebook ads works really well. They're all different and they all work in different ways. Um, and it depends, you know, what kind of your limitations are and what you want to do. So if you, for example, have a low budget, TikTok might be the best way to go for you because you will have a bigger chance of getting a lot more views on your product with a lot more time, mind you, but you won't have to spend as much money. So really take a look at each of them and understand they're all extremely powerful, but to use, but to actually see the success, you need to use them like a real tool. Yeah, and then Rand L. Uh, Thor is asking the difference between marketing and advertising, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like, a, like an MBA style question. Um, the way that I would answer this, I'd be curious for your take Magda, is marketing is, marketing refers to anything you can do to connect your product with people who want it. And so that could be mentioning it, like creating your own TikTok account and mentioning it on your own channel. It could be also like paying people to review yours and getting traffic that way. It could be a lot of different things. And advertising is specifically paying to get your product in front of people. So it could be, yeah, Facebook advertising is, is a good example, whereas having your own Instagram account isn't necessarily advertising. That's how I think of it. Although now that I say it out loud, I'm like, is it true? I don't know. It's kind of academic, but it's an interesting distinction. I definitely agree with you, Jessica. And I think that that's definitely a good way of looking at it. I feel like when it comes, I think it's important um, for people to understand marketing because I feel like it will help you actually understand how to connect with customers. Whereas you need to understand and marketing if you want ads to work if you want your advertising to work you need to have strong marketing skills um and if you have if you just have a strong ad for example but you don't understand your audience or you don't have any other marketing skills it may be difficult for that ad to actually reach those customers and to actually convert for you so i think that's a great way of putting it um okay let's move on to our next product now this one is um, this is a product that is one of the most popular products to sell for Valentine's Day. It's a Valentine's Day product and it's something that um, I wanted to bring up because I thought every year around this time we have you know entrepreneurs asking us, should I be selling products for Valentine's Day? 
what products do well, things like that. So I thought we would touch on the topic. Now, even though we are dropping winning products for them, I think the tone of what we will answer, what we will suggest will be a bit different, but I still think it'd be interesting for you all to learn and see the types of products that do so well for Valentine's Day. So let's start with actually guessing the product. Jessica, do you have any ideas to start for a best-selling um, Valentine's Day product? Our best-selling Valentine's Day product, you know, the, uh, I feel like usually I would say jewelry, but no one, I mean, where I'm at, there's a lockdown right now, no one's going out, so there's no place to flaunt your jewelry, so I actually wonder if Valentine's Day this year will be a lot more low-key, it'll be about mm -hmm. maybe like couples bathrobes or something, something in kind of the spa luxury thing, department that people can do together, am I, am I way off? I might be way off though. Um, okay, you're a little bit off, but actually the only reason I say that is because Norsh has actually got it right as well as Good Day Mate John. It is the light up rose in a glass. Oh. To be honest, um, I always feel like this product is something that surprises me because I feel like it's kind of pretty, but it's kind of useless. Like there's not much that you can do once you have it, but it blows up every year for Valentine's Day. And so that's something that I wanted to bring up because... Um, a lot of times, you know, uh, if people are interested in selling products for Valentine's Day, they might be looking for new ones, but usually it's the case that the same products we've noticed are actually always selling well every Valentine's Day. Yeah. Now, um, this Enchanted Rose gift, you don't only need to sell for Valentine's Day. I think, of course, for example, if you wanted, this would be a great gift. Uh, gift product you know you can on facebook for example you can target if someone has a um it has an anniversary coming up or a birthday coming up or you know if someone's in a in a relationship and this product would be great for them but it certainly explodes on valentine's day now um you know do you have any thoughts on that jessica are you surprised to see it um no i do think you, when you're in the drop shipping universe and you're going to like chats like this you as a dropshipper will be like, it's saturated because I've seen it before, but you have to remember customers haven't. Like you, you have seen it before because you're on the lookout for what has sold well in the past and this has come up, but that doesn't mean that your customers have seen eight ads for this and they've already decided they don't want to buy it. In fact, even if they have seen ads for it, they may see it again this year and say, oh, I, now I want to give that a try. I want to buy one for my new partner, for example. So I think there's a, you make a good point of um, just because this product is new to you doesn't mean it's not a fresh product for the market. And then the other thing is, I don't know if it, maybe I'll come across as a snob. This rose isn't really my taste, um, but it reminds me of, <laughs> I was talking with uh, Yulia and Mike, um, some of the entrepreneurs we interviewed last year, they would often be surprised at the, they would have products that they loved and thought were really cool. And then products they were like, we'll just test it. Mm -hmm. And these products that they wouldn't personally buy did the best. So just a, a note to keep your store open to all kinds of products as you're testing and let the data tell you what sells well, not your personal preferences. Absolutely. And I think one, one, one really interesting uh, tidbit that I want to add about this for everyone, including yourself, Jessica, is that the SEO of this rose, if you look into it, is tagged with Beauty and the Beast. So this is kind of a genius product because there's a lot of Disney fanatics out there. Um, I'm not one of them. I don't really get the whole Disney hype, but people love Disney and anything to do with it. And this is a perfect product that you can actually advertise to people who, for example, are fans of Beauty and the Beast without having to deal, without having to worry that Disney is going to come after you. So I think that that's really, really important. Yeah, I'm seeing some interesting uh, uh, chatter in the chat that I'll just quickly touch on. So Halima mm -hmm. is asking about working with influencers. We have... Um, on the Overload blog, there's some good articles about this, but we also have an entire course about Instagram marketing and TikTok marketing um, for our Overload grad plan members. So if you head over to the site, um, overload.com slash learn, you can learn more about those courses because Jade, who teaches that course, actually gives you exactly what to say to influencers, how to structure the campaign, how to make sure the influencer is doing what you want them to do, and lots of other great stuff. And then Danny, or Den. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, is asking, you know, he, he made a, he or she made a quick 
store in 2017 and got sales easily and is wondering if Shopify works as easily in 2021. Well, Shopify works. It's, it's a platform to build the store on. In terms of like, can you still get sales? The answer is yes. People are shopping online more than ever. So, so don't, don't let this comparison of it'll never be like it was in the past hold you back from building a store because Magda, you know, because you're interviewing these drop shippers who started last year and made a lot of sales. In the middle of a pandemic, they started their business and they still made sales. You, if you're willing and persistent, you can always build that business. Oh, absolutely. And everyone that's interested, please make sure to hit subscribe so you see our video coming out this week with De Mantas because he started a store and made $50,000 in two months. And let me just tell you, he made a free logo from Hatchful. He used a free theme, Brooklyn. He just did everything for free. He didn't pay for anything. He just ended up even using one product. He didn't have the whole store filled out. He didn't have anything. It can be very easy. What is difficult is waiting through all the resources, being diligent, actually following through with it to the end. So it can, it's absolutely, um, I think maybe a better word to describe it would be simple. It's not easy, but it can be simple as long as you're diligent and you stick with it. So and don't forget when people always refer to like a few years ago when it was the golden age or when there was, you know, much less competition. I think it's imp important to note that at that time, people were shopping less online because they were more suspicious of it. It was harder for people to act for products to ship to them. Shipping took way longer. If you think shipping from China takes long now, you should have seen a few years ago. So actually, there's so many huge, um, you know, progressions that we've made in e-commerce. So don't fall into that because usually the people telling you that are people who have either never done it successfully themselves or are doing it successfully and don't want any more competition. So of course they don't want you to get started and would rather you stick to things, um, you know, uh, IRL than jumping, jumping online. And with that, let me just, uh, since we've, you know, we've kind of already reached uh, 26 after the hour, we have two more winning products, but the first one is just the second winning product to Valentine's Day. So we won't go over this one much, but I'll just ask if anyone can guess what it is. So this is a winning product that is also very popular on Valentine's Day, was huge last year. Jessica, do you have any ideas? Someone in the chat actually guessed it correctly before. So if you have right. some ideas, drop it into the chat. Mm -hmm. I think someone had guessed, I'll try to give you credit. Someone had guessed the necklace that says, I love you in a bunch of different answers. Nick, Nick, I guess that, and that's my guess too. That's not the one, but it is actually, um, okay, Halima, Halima got it. It is the rose bear. So it is this bear that is made out of roses. Now, I just wanted to, oh, good day, May John, you absolutely got it as well. Um, yeah, so it's this bear that's made out of roses. It's super popular every year, but I just thought it would be another really fun um, product to share with you guys because I thought you might think it's really interesting that this is also doing so well for Valentine's Day. Now, just to quickly touch on it, um, I would not suggest drop shipping for Valentine's Day if you're a beginner and just getting started now. If you're starting a new store, I'm telling you, it's going to take you a lot longer than three days to set up your store. So this is just something more as like kind of so we can geek out about and study rather than something that I would suggest for beginners. Any thoughts about that, Jessica, before we move on? No, nope, I, I agree with everything you say there. Rose teddy bear. Yeah, makes sense. It's great. <laughs> makes sense, right? <laughs> I have yeah. nothing witty to say to that. Yep. <laughs> Let's jump on to our last product. So this one is actually going to be, um, this is the one that is related to Shanty Talk. So if any of you oh. uh, know about Shanty Talk, on, uh, if any of you have seen Shanty Talk on TikTok before, let us know in the chat. I'm really curious to hear. This trend has absolutely exploded um, over the past few weeks um, online. So Shanty Talk, it's a TikTok trend where there are people in maritime regions um, around the world to singing this song and it's become uh it's become very 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 popular because it's really easy to jump in do duets with um and i think people are also really obsessed with um people are also really obsessed with the boys who are doing the shanty talks who are usually really jacked and you know just <laughs> maritime sailors so i'm sure that this has something to do with it but 
Anyways, I saw this nautical themed product show up and I thought, I think that this is, you know, seeing a kind of a trend boost because of Shanty Talk. So does anyone have any ideas or just a guess as to what it might be? Wow, I have no idea. I mean, that when, when I think like sailors and Shanty, I know some things associated with that are like whales. Yeah, nautical anchors. One of the things I think of like a striped shirt or a bandana, like just why do I think sailors wear striped shirts? <laughs> that's, I think that's a common, uh, you know, I don't know why either. I don't know why either, but I also for a second thought, yeah, like I totally agree with you. <laughs> so, yeah, where am I'm I getting exactly that sure. from? I don't know. But anyways, okay, Gadamian John is onto something. It does have an anchor on it, um, but I, I would love to see a few more guesses. Um, maybe we can just talk about while people are guessing, you know, how helpful it is to be able to look at trends, not just product trends. I think it's really important, everyone, for you all to remember that a lot of times when people are looking into dropshipping or selling something, all they look at is what are trending products. That's not the yeah. right way to go about things. It's important to start with what are actual trends, just trends. For example, when I've mentioned tarot card readers, that's separate to products first. It's just that tarot card readers as a service is something that's exploding. So work with that. Shanty talk, it has, it's not starting with a product, but that doesn't mean that you can't work with it and it can't absolutely make your sales blow through the roof because you're kind of jumping on that trend. So I think that's an important distinction and important way to start thinking if you want to jump onto them. Yeah, this is a really important distinction between new dropshippers and more experienced dropshippers because, and there's no shame in being new. When you're new, it's actually, I think, fine to look for a product that's already trending because then you know that it's getting sales and now your task is to learn how to get one of those sales and kind of prove to yourself that you can do that. And then as you start to get more sophisticated and you want to discover those winning products that have a chance to scale, that's when you're like, okay, by the time it's selling well on AliExpress, it's actually too late for me, the ambitious, experienced dropshipper. I want to find something before anyone else has found it. And that's when, yeah, thinking entrepreneurially, diving into these trends, unpacking them, feeling like uh, that's when you get creative and, and creativity is the heart of massive, massive business growth. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, Jessica. Okay, so let's drop it into the chat because, um, you know, we're kind of, we're already reaching our half an hour point here. This is not really a special product. It is just a full leather anchor nautical themed notebook. I know, I know. It's like, what? It's just a notebook. But this notebook has been seeing such thousands of percentage of GMP wow. growth um, over the past few weeks since the start of January. And I think it has something to do with Shanty Talk. So I just wanted to drop it in here because it's, it's something that is, you could buy at Walmart, you can buy at Target, on Amazon, pretty much everywhere. But for some reason, this nautical bow leather notebook has been absolutely exploding for drop shippers specifically. So this yeah. is kind of a really, really cool, I think, lesson for anyone out there that if you're wondering, you know, can I sell a product if it's available on Amazon? Yes, yes, you can. Sometimes it might be more difficult, but if you're able to jump on trends and market it the right way and share it with the right people, you can really start to see a lot of success with this. So Jessica, yeah. were you shocked to see this product? Because I was. I'm shocked. I'm totally shocked. I feel like this is such, this is the exact kind of product I would usually say don't sell it. But because whoever is selling this is making that link to a trend and that's the real secret sauce here. Also, I would note this product has great reviews. I was reading some of the reviews on AliExpress. So this probably makes a difference. It looks like it really is made with a kind of satisfyingly soft worn leather um, cover and everything like that. So I, I'm surprised and, and I love it. I'm all for it. Um, awesome. And I just want to... Uh add Edward and also Good Day Mate John. So with ePacket, I just want to note that we will have a video coming up within the next few weeks where we're going to be talking to dropshippers who are dropshipping right now. And I'm going to be asking them to cherry pick customers from different parts of the world. And we're going to look at the exact shipping times of those different orders. Um, now, mind you, it depends on the supplier. It depends on what shipping they chose. But I think that it will kind of give you a better idea of what shipping times to various parts of the world are right now. Um, and I want to just mention that uh, I would suggest using AliExpress standard shipping because ePacket is, is used with carrier planes. And I recently just bought something from AliExpress with 
AliExpress standard shipping and my product only took two and a half weeks to arrive. I was shocked. Again, it, different suppliers, different shipping, it can always vary, but AliExpress standard shipping working for me very well. That's just a personal um, example, but make sure that you hit subscribe um, and then that way we can actually, uh, we'll be able to share more of that information with you um, in the next few weeks when that video comes out. A juicy and video. Yeah, I think it's definitely going to be a juicy video um, and I think it will help kind of, you know, at least kind of give everyone a, a little bit of an idea of what shipping times are. The tough thing is, everyone, is realistically, they really depend. Shipping times really depend on your supplier, where they're shipping from. It depends on a lot of different factors. So the best way to test it is, I'm going to be honest, just order the product. I know. I know. God forbid you need to spend $30 in your in, or invest $30 in your business, but you, if you don't have $30, wait until you do find a way to make $30 and then order a sample. Because if you can't make $30, it's going to be hard to make a million. So let's start with something small, invest it in your product, see the shipping, um, you know, and we can kind of go from there, but make sure to hit subscribe so that you can watch that video in a few weeks. Now, that's kind of the end of our live stream. Jessica, is there anything else you wanted to cover? Because we're kind of at 35 minutes, but these are always, you know, jam packed. No, I think that I'm, I'm really glad that I was here. I can't wait to, to keep watching these and for the videos that are coming out. And it was awesome to, to talk with everyone in the chat. And I, best of luck to everyone starting their businesses in 2021. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for joining us, Jessica. I so appreciate it. Also, everyone in the chat, thank you so much for joining us. You are the best and you totally make these live streams so exciting and engaging and just so much fun. So, um, you know, I really appreciate you joining us all. We'll be back next Tuesday and every Tuesday moving forward. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button and you also hit subscribe because that way when we go live, you can actually join us. Talk to us in the chat. We'll answer your questions. You get to the products first. So it's really, uh, you know, it's really important to kind of, uh, yeah, hit subscribe and make sure that you're always joining us. And with that, I'll say thank you all so much. Have an awesome Tuesday um, and keep hustling. Bye. Bye.